Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. From wherever you're watching from, welcome back once again. I'm Devin and this is my aquaponics room. Just thought I'd give you a little update, little things I've added. Still waiting on some seeds. Uh, I'm reseeding since I had a little bug problem and uh, some pump issues. But, you know, change things around, you know, live and learn. This is what happens. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to show you, take down a little tour, show you what I've been doing, if you follow the last video. Um, I've added a squirrel tank, just a little, made it out of a five gallon bucket, added it to my smaller raft system, to the smaller bed, uh, the big one. Like I said, it's approximately eight feet long by three feet wide by almost two feet deep. Uh, in the bottom of my raft systems, I've got uh, gravel hydro ton, things that are on the bottom, like an old rocks, natural riverbed, which in turn collects and does a lot of filtering for me, and then there's also a lot of aeration. I have air pumps, everything else, air lines going into the raft system to help break up, break up, excuse me, <laughs> help break up the uh, fish poo, you know, the heavy waste and stuff, and it does a pretty fine job in the big bed, uh, it comes out pretty good. And then uh, in a little bit, same same idea, but it's like you know, quarter of its size. And I have added things to it, so I'll show you, take you to it. And uh, here we go. This is the little one, just a little bed. You know, shower curtain for liner. I got roses growing in it. They've all been trimmed back. It's got some new budding. Carnations. This side is, you know, basically for flowers. Try to see what kind of flowers we can grow and everything. Other than that, as you see, there's the pipe that comes in. Fills in the bed. There's a drain. There's an air pump. we got three air stones inside. Let's see. As you can see, and then here's the swirl tank I added, just to see if there's any extra. So a little homemade filters, dollar store, you know, plastic scrubbies. Seems to do pretty good. It's been flowing now for two days. I've had it, and it swirls around and then, you know, drains out. Little hole. See the. This is the drain pipe here, which has got an extra little filter around it. Just a rubber hose through the hole in the bottom. Uh, let's see if we can get down there. This here, believe it or not, came off of uh, a toilet tank. It's got the rubber seal on it and everything else. It's perfect. You know, just drill a hole, put it through, screw it. Good to go. No leakage. And, of course, as you see, the tank got a lot of water flow now, if you can tell. There, we'll put a little boat in. But, uh, it's I got a sub pump, and I did double check and checked out the sub pump I got that I had donated to me. It is... There's a special coating on it. It's non-corrosive and everything else. It, um, the wheels inside it, the pump turbine, is stainless steel. Now, somebody made a comment to me saying, well, maybe you should double check because you shouldn't have any kind of steel. They say, well, I didn't believe, you know, copper because copper can corrode. But the pump, it's, like I said, of a... Not a bell siphon, it's a sub pump. So she's pumping about, oh, I'm trying to remember the readouts. 35 liters per 20 seconds. Something like that. So that's an awful lot. So I teed it off. What I had to do, and the reason why I got so much water flow now, it's great, is put holes through the bottom of the pipe that sends the water up. This here helps reduce the 
flow of the water being pumped up through the pipe so it's not so high. Instead of putting a valve on it and burning the pump out, what I've done is I put in about 15 quarter inch holes underneath the water and then the one up here to help, you know, give some more oxygen, aerator, move the water around. And then I got that entering in. Then we got a little air stone down there. But as you can see, all the fishies, if you can see them, water looks dark because you know, I'm using a black tie line there. They're in there. Here, let's see if they go on frenzy. Probably not. They've been a little enjoying the water flow and the current underneath there. You know, don't come down too often. Come down like twice a day, check everything out, do my water temps. They've kind of gotten used to being by themselves. As you see them, they're starting to get active, realizing the food's up there. Yeah, I got some pretty good, big sized goldfish. These goldfish have been in here approximately a year. When I first bought them, they were feeder goldfish. Just your common goldfish, you know, no bigger than uh, a quarter. Now, <laughs> Some of them are pretty big. But yes, they're really loving the uh, water flow and the currents in here. It's helping them, you know, keep them busy and active, strong, and fast. There's also some sunfish in there, some bass, two perch, and they're all getting along. Oh, we'll move up. Like I said, this here is the big bed. Flowing in. Pretty good pace. You know. The plants have made it through the bug attack. Like I said, as soon as uh, fall came and it got colder outside, uh, they found their way inside. <laughs> but uh, I've saved these guys. They're all coming back. My jalapenos are... I just picked about four of them yesterday. So, you know, it's flowering, he's producing jalapenos. Then we got the pimento, it's starting to produce peppers again. You know, the flowers. Then it's got to this up. Crazy. This is my aloe. It's been in here since I started the system. And when I started it, you go back from the first video and you'll see how, <laughs> how small it was. It's gotten pretty big, can't complain. And this here is where she drains. Now, once again, you know, did the same thing with the bathroom. Got an old toilet, took out of the base of it, like, you know, the water tank first. Same thing, filled the hole. It's got a rubber hose, strawberry basket over top of the hose, and then just these for a little extra filter to catch stuff up. Real simple. So the big stuff flex up and around it. This here is, you know, a little extra air hole. Also helps uh, if I need to add any chelated iron to me if the system requires it. But other than that, this is the basement, the rock system. Everything's doing okay. You know, the goldfish know I'm here. These guys have become uh, to themselves, you can say. They don't care for company. Now the other ones, I'll take you upstairs. I'll show you what I built upstairs, how that's coming along. So. We'll head up. So she's not doing too bad. We'll go upstairs. Come back. So, making our way up. Boom. This here is just the uh, indoor window garden. The plants I saved from downstairs from the bugs. I'll get to that. Eh, why not? We're here now. Let's show it off. 
So this is all organic soil. Let me turn the fan off here. Got a big fan up there. Two fluorescents, a halogen. I'm gonna add two more fluorescents up here. I think it'll help. Even though I got the big bay window, it is winter time. They still can use as much lights. Made a little winter wonderland scene. Kind of cool. So it looks like uh, from outside at nighttime, tropical place with snow. <laughs> Anyways, these are my peppers. As you can see, they're flowering. Everything's doing great. Uh, they're in a nice big two foot deep pot, homemade of course by uh, two feet wide. We got mint, basil, more peppers, oregano. Uh, these here, this here is going to be my cherry tomatoes. We got another pepper plant over there. We have some more. But there, I do believe over there in the corner is the oregano. This here is my tomato plant, of course. I've been picking tomatoes off it. As you can see, some new growth. There's that. You ain't gonna grow any in the house, in your window. So, yeah, well, I uh, like when say, they say you can't do it in the house. Well, it can be done. Cool little shamrock. All the flowers. So everything's going good. All the soil is all organic. No fertilizer in it. The only fertilizer is from the fish waste from the AP system. Look at this. Strawberries. Inside. Yes. Then we got the long stem image. From there, here we got a head of radicchio going. Pretty good. Then some more ornamental peppers. Here's my uh, Cajun, or not, no, cayenne, sorry, it's a cayenne pepper. The growing fruit. This is doing pretty good. Man, we can't remember the name of this one, but it grows nice bell flowers on it. It's like a tree almost. <laughs> and then everything over there. Now, I said, I put in a flood and drain in the living room, and so well, it's doing pretty good. Got all the gold fishies. These came in from the tank downstairs, and you see how active these guys are. The other ones are active, but these ones are more, you know, people friendly. They don't mind the people. A little dojo in there. And a little rocks there, three plates, and we got another algae eater, a little red tail shark. And there's a cosmos in there somewhere. So we got water circulating. With the air bubbles and pump. We got another little filter here to help. Made another little homemade filter too out of that plastic I showed you. See that? Beautiful. Instead of using these things that are, you know, they don't last long. They got the charcoal in them. Yeah, you can add the same thing into the little thing there. I'll have to show one day how I made them. So here's the top of the bed. And look at this. It's been a year. I didn't know what it was. Started off in the first original uh, flood and drain system I made. And it's been growing. I actually have two of them. Believe it or not, those are lemon trees. Yes. Two lemon trees. They're going, and then we got the little pepper, another one I saved from downstairs, and everything's doing fine. Then here's all my seeds I'm starting. We've got some starting here, some basil, savory, some thyme. No. But Yep, this is the new upstairs system. I'll keep myself busy.
Any questions, any comments, uh, I'm more than happy to try to answer them. If not, pass them off to somebody else. That hopefully can help you out too. Uh, just show you here what I'm drying out too. This here is all mint. These are my jalapeno peppers. I'm just drying them out because they dry them out and then uh, grind them up and you know there we go. Here's my spices. So all my tomato, all my seeds. I'm gonna be doing some more seeding. The sunflowers that I had from outside, drying them out. I'm getting ready to uh, run them up. So, like I said, any questions, comments, uh, more than happy to uh, try to answer them for you. So hopefully you enjoyed and uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day.